Good morning, guys. So, um, it's actually later in the morning. You can see the clock behind me, actually. What time is it? It's almost 10. 10 minutes till 10. And we are trekking away on our homeschooling, our new normal. You can hear the trumpet in the background. This is band class going on upstairs at the moment. Um, I have another one doing math at the kitchen table. So this is how my day is kind of going to kind of go. Um, I'm going to be here to help them with any help that they need with schooling. Um, I'd like to potentially get as much done um, in the morning as possible, although we do have a schedule with some breaks, with some breaks um, in, so we're just going to see how long it's going to take us. It looks like my kids have block scheduling, so um, they're only responsible for doing blue day classes today, so they have blue days and white days. Um, anyway. And actually they have study hall, both of them on their blue day. So today is gonna to be a lighter day anyway, but we'll see. Anyway, for me, my plan is to make myself do one house project every day, and then the rest of the day I can have to either help them with whatever they need and then also um, be in the sewing room. So um, today, I mean, I'm not gonna take you along for my house project, you could care less, but I did just have family in town. So today, my chore of the day, um, other than normal like household chores, is just to get all of the bedding washed, folded and put away, and then get the guest room bed all made back up for the next time we have guests, um, just to get all that kind of put back in order. So basically getting my house put back in order, um, get the blow up mattress put back, all that kind of stuff is my home project for today. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna go through my daughter's clothes. <laughs> go through and pull out stuff that she has outgrown because we've run out of room in her drawers. Okay, so I will uh, check back in with you when I'm down. <laughs> you like the music serenade today. Um, I'll check back in with you when I'm decked down in the swing room. I'm going to work on that um, new look dress today. Okay, see you soon. Okay, so um, we're done with homeschool for today. Um, we've got everyone fed. I've worked out. I've showered. I'm making everyone get into regular clothes and get ready for the day just as if they were leaving the house just so we don't I don't want to fall into that um, rut of like laziness you know which is fine for like winter break for instance when you know that it's a finite amount of time and everyone just kind of in their pajamas for two weeks but then I think about how hard that is to come out of that once you're in that and we really well I hope this is just a two-week thing that we're stuck here we really don't know in fact if you are in the US, um, Kansas, which is very close. My hometown is, um, or where we came from is Kansas City, which is split between uh, Missouri and Kansas City in Kansas. And while we lived on the Missouri side and all of our family lives on the Missouri side, um, Kansas just announced that they have closed schools for the end of the year. <sighs> so I mean, there's a chance that we could be doing this um, you know, are they just the only ones that are gonna do that? There's just so many unknowns. So um, I really wanted to stick with the schedule and have everyone still acting as if um, we're somewhat normal. So anyway, went ahead and took my shower, worked out, took my shower, I got dressed, um, but now I'm in the sewing room. So everyone's just kind of doing lazy things, to be honest, uh, my husband's working, but um, yeah, I'm gonna work on this dress. And again, it is new look. Um, and, 6594. So it's new look 6594 and I'm doing view B right there. And I'm just going to do some, I mean this there were no plans for this. It's just something I want to make. So um yeah, I'm going to prop you up on a makeshift uh not really a tripod. You're on a tripod, a very small tripod. Um but I'm lifting you up so you can kind of see not close up, but I'll do a time lapse. Um where you can see the sewing machine and the searcher kind of the same time, but I've got everything all threaded and ready to go. So I'm going to turn on uh, Frozen 2 actually. I haven't seen it. It's on Disney Plus now. <laughs> so I'm going to have it on in the background. And yeah, let's make a dress. Okay.
Okay guys, um, hopefully I caught some footage there of sewing the dress, but here we go. Everything, this is my gigantic camera setup, is done. I am really loving this dress. In fact, I think I'll stand you up on the desk so I'm not, you can see maybe the whole thing a little better. Hold on one second. Okay, so here we go. Sorry. <laughs> Here's my new dress. I've put, I had, the dress, the pattern calls for three buttons. I only had two of these wooden buttons from Arrow Mountain left. Um, sorry, the lighting is horrible. So I went ahead and used those and just used matching thread there. I'm just loving it. I've got, it's going right underneath my bust where it's supposed to. I did do a muslin on this before I cut into it. Um, I did the collar, so I have a side zip. There's a little pole there. Um, it's got a little gathered puff sleeve, which I'm normally not a fan of, but I think it fits me fine in the shoulders. So I'm really liking it. It has like a deep pleat here on the skirt. I have gone ahead and hemmed it. Yeah. So I like the way that the solid um, colors worked out. I think that looks lovely. Come on, camera. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased. Oh, sorry. It's a boob shot. <laughs> okay. So my hair and makeup there is, or I have no makeup on, obviously. So there we have it. So hopefully I got some time lapse there. I'm not sure if my camera angle was the best. I'll play around with that a little bit as I move forward. Um, I actually have a uh, girls' night this evening. We have set up a Zoom meeting, um, and we're all just going to be at our own houses, each with a glass of wine. Am I in focus? There we go. Each with a glass of wine or whatever, doing craft projects. And normally it's for knitting. Um, we sit around and we knit together. Um, there's five of us. But I think tonight I'm going to just be on my sewing machine because I can. Um, so that's kind of what I've got planned. That's what our social life's looking like right now. Um, but it's going to be fine and we're going to make it work. And I'm literally uh, looking forward to that. Um, so I'm probably going to let you go now. I'm not sure if I'm going to cut anything out. I have about an hour until dinner. Tomorrow I'm going to work on t-shirts. So um, my filming for the daily vlog will kind of be mixed in with my filming for the actual t-shirt week. Um, but I think that's okay because I'll combine Thursday and Friday together for you guys to see on Saturday since I've got a regular video, video going up on Friday. Um, anyway, what should I do next? Should I do something knit? I feel like I should work on a Minerva project maybe next. Looking at my stash over here. I have some Minerva fabric I need to sew through, so maybe I'll do a Minerva project next. Maybe get, maybe I'll do a couple of jumpsuits. Maybe a knit jumpsuit and then a woven one maybe? Hmm? <laughs> get through all of this new fabric I just bought. So anyway, yeah, that is it for today. It is about, um, it's only 4.45, so I have plenty of time. Um, I've got a brisket in the oven that should be ready in about 45 minutes so we can eat dinner. Um, but yeah, that's kind of all I have. So I may come back and talk to you guys this evening um, if I decide to cut something else out, um, which I probably will. Yeah, I'll just come back and talk to you this evening because I want to cut something out so I can be working on something while I'm um, with my girlfriends online. <laughs> okay, I will talk to you guys soon, and I hope you enjoyed my new dress as much as I do. Again, this is a batik rayon, um, and I've got a solid and a print that kind of go together, a very lovely vintage vibe, and I'm, yeah, I'm really loving my new dress. Okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, um, so done with dinner, got everything cleaned up, I'm getting ready to have my little fun girls night on Zoom, which is like, that's lovely lighting. <laughs> anyway, um, I just wanted to show you, I was going to cut out a project um, to sew while I was doing with them, and I was going to cut out the Melody Doman by um, Love Notions, but I don't have enough of that rayon fabric to do that, so I'm going to have to come up with another project for that rayon fabric um, and do a Melody Dolman out of something, another piece that I've got in my um, stash, which is fine. So I just wanted to show you some plans. I've put together some um, patterns and fabrics, so I'm going to show you what I'm kind of thinking for um, sewing here in the future. All right, so I've set it on my little couch here. Okay, so I have this Minerva knit here. This is a cotton spandex knit, and this digital print is just so pretty. And I think I'm going to do basically the version that the model is wearing here. Um, kind of this wrap, dolman-style top with the large leg. I 
thinking about the shorts, but I think I'm going to go with the large leg on that one. Um, I have enough fabric for it, so I think I'm going to do that. And let's see, what is that? That is McCall's, it's one of the new ones, uh, 8047. And then I have this Butterick pattern, which is 6676. I want to do this view C here, and I want to play around with this linen that I showed you guys that has the different stripes. I want to do, um, you know, play around with the color blocking kind of on that and with the ties. And I want to do view C on that one, and that has a full bust on that. This is another full bust pattern. This is Butterick 6674. I think I want to do, I, I'm not really sure what the difference between view A and B is here. Maybe, I don't know. But I'm gonna, I want to do just, you know, scoop neck. I'm not going to do the version with the ruffle neckline, although I would like to do that at some point um, because I want to be able to wear, I have a knit that I could wear underneath this dress, a uh, t-shirt um, for the fall. So I kind of want to play around with that. So I think I'm just going to do a very simple version, view A, and I even bought some buttons when I was down um, at Let's Sew recently. And then I'm actually going to do the um, Sadie sweatshirt. I have the Sadie already from Seamwork Patterns. Love it. I use it all the time. And then with the remnants um, of that, I'm going to do uh, McCall's 7634, this little cropped um, sweatshirt for my daughter. I think I should have just enough to do that once I've made myself my Sadie. Um, and I'm using the um, remnants of my turtleneck from my modules for the cuffs on the Sadie. So... That is, so that's one, two, three, four, actually five. I don't have the Sadie down here. It's a PDF. Um, five patterns that I have planned for the coming days, and that is in addition to, um, I'm going to start the t-shirt, filming the t-shirt week tomorrow. So that's kind of what I'm thinking, kind of what I got planned. Set those out. Um, I think that's going to be it for tonight. I'm going to have my, make myself a drink and then uh, meet up with my girls. Um, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Hope you have a wonderful evening. And yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye.